And just like that, Dave's goose has been cooked, everybody. Um, all right, well, I guess I feel, I don't know if I feel better about myself. I guess I just feel as bad about myself as I do Dave. Maybe slightly more bad for Dave. Bold strategy, Cotton. That's a great, that's a great dodgeball reference. Tom, you ever seen dodgeball? Good. Uh, the time, Dave, is 3.48 Pacific Standard. Yeah, we're good. Tiempo. We can do one more match with you and the boys, and then we'll uh, hop over to the two crew and show off full syrup vodka on that uh, Torvaldio. All right, so next up, we're going to do one more match with Dave, and uh, I'm calling them the uh, Xbox Live gang. Uh, because I don't remember all of their names. I think one guy's name was Unlimited Cash, uh, which I thought was a very clever name for no distinct reason. And uh, we're going to see how he can uh, fare against them. Now, I'm hoping for one monster win against these guys. Um, otherwise, I don't know. I think I've lost all faith in uh, in myself and Dave. But, you know, props to Dave. If you take a beating, you know, just get back up, get back in there. Um, you never know. Sometimes it takes a few games to feel out that team that you're going up against, learn how they're playing, because they can be playing a lot differently than uh, you're used to. Uh, like I said, these guys are a slow-moving nuke. Like, they are just slowly pacing around the map, uh, not, not trying to step in front of Dave at all, but just slowly tracking behind him getting him in a dome, and then just taking him to Pound Town. Oh, Dave's, Dave's a hunter this time. Okay, so everything I said about getting back in there and fighting your foes again, just scrap that for Dave, I guess. Um, instead, he's just going to go to the other side. Um, was it a request, Dave? Was it an internal request? I think it's the same thing. Was it you requesting it? Got it. Um, all right, so Dave's on the hunters. So... Let's see if he can disrupt this hunter team enough so the monster wins. You know what I mean, Dave? Maybe you don't have as good synergy. Maybe he does. We'll see what happens on Evolve. Uh, and, Dave, what's the schedule for the rest of the show, my man? What are we doing for the next uh, dose hours after this? Oh, I, okay, I thought I'd fill him in, but I'll just stand here then. Next hour, we're doing Torvald. With Chat's Choice for the rest of the show. All right, so Torvald and Chat's Choice. Producer James, thank you, James. Got it. All right, James. Uh, Dave, there's been some calls for Wraith, but I think since you're not the monster, me telling you this is not going to be very effective. Uh, if you'd like to tell the guy on the microphone, Dave, you could let him know. Uh, I'm interested to see how these guys play monster. I haven't heard them talk much about playing the monster. They said I was the best Goliath they've ever faced. No offense, Dave. And, uh, you know, that felt a little good. But uh, how about you guys out there in the chat? Do you guys pick one side or the other? Do you guys, you know, do you guys mix around? Do you guys go hunter sometime, monster sometime? Or have you guys picked a role? Have you even picked a class maybe on the hunter team? Uh, or even as a monster, have you picked a specific monster that is kind of your jam and that you don't like to stray from that? Uh, Flame Josh says, it looks like I curled my hair. Uh, thanks for the uh, attention to detail of my body features, but no, I do not curl my hair and it is a natural curl. Uh, some say I'm blessed. Uh, I say I'm just Shaq. You know what I mean?
So these guys mix it up a little bit, Dave. They don't just kind of stick to one. I see a lot of people switching around. Trapper, a monster. Hunter, a monster. A crack into someone's jam. I guess I'm just unique. You know, I'm just that, that monstrosity. Um, but maybe I'll get back in the hunters after maybe after the beatings today guys that I'm just gonna I'm gonna dive deeper into some of those classes um, See if my boy Hank uh, is Still how I like him Hank was uh, The OG support that we announced with and uh, I played a lot of Hank at the start And uh, I kind of miss him. I kind of miss those orbital barrages getting a good orbital barrage Few few feelings that evolve better than that Maybe a nice sneak bounce as well or like those epic uh, two-mile rock throws. Yeah, Dave, you, I, I vote for Val, man. That was kind of your jam. Oh, with the elite Val. That is a dope skin, Dave. Dave, did you earn that? Great work, Dave. I don't know if I believe him, but I'm going to think that I, I do. All right, so we got Methods uh, Double O on support. We got Dave Blank, uh, DB Single Hair on uh, Old Val. We got Unlimited Cash on Monster. Crow is playing Crow. Oh, no, sorry, missed that one up. Sensational Dan's on Crow, and uh, I'm Flash Baby on Torvald. Let's see how these guys do. Brian Rowney's in the house now. He's getting ready for uh, our games next up. A little packed house here, guys. Thanks for joining us. Dave, what do you think? You guys confident in winning against this guy? Did Cash say anything about him playing a lot? Like, does he play a lot of Monster? Okay, he's, he's playing Kraken. Oh, that gold Kraken. All right, so he's, uh, he's definitely flexing. De definitely flexing right now. He's using the, uh, the Kraken skin that he won from uh, one of our previous community challenges. Um, that's a bold move. I always think taking any of those brighter skins, the shinier ones, uh, being able to actually make yourself more visible is a little cocky move against the hunters, and I like it. No use in worry. Be certain of death. I try that. Still, I might be a little worried if I was about to fight a two-story killing machine and my only armor was... Italian, a uh, Italian uh, asked what well, email to send uh, his gamer tag to so we can play the next game. We're not doing any more games today with the community, but for next week, it's evolve livestream at 2k.com. So go ahead and send your emails there with your gamer tags. Um, this group that we're playing with right now, we coordinated that earlier this week, and uh, they've been great. So doing more of this stuff every Friday is definitely what we'll be looking into um, to keep you guys more involved. And uh, let Dave just talk. It's what he's good at, clearly, uh, with that Goliath play last game. I'm sorry, Dave. i got to stop ragging on you. You did great. No, I, I know. I know. All right, so we're playing on one of the new maps. And it looks like they've already found the Kraken. Now, or or maybe the Kraken's uh, let them find him. I heard a Banshee mine, I believe. So it looks like he's taken at least one in Banshee mines, and they've already got an early dome on him. All right, so so far just Banshee Mines. If he did go all, th if he did go all three of Banshee Mines, I do like that strategy early on. They, those mines do a lot of damage, and as you can see, they're very pesky against this hunter team. Oh, looks like he also took at least one 
into Vortex. All right, so it's, uh, it's a push strategy. It's something that's going to keep them off him for a while. It's going to push them back, and it's going to maintain distance. I like that. That's usually my play with Kraken, unless I'm going all three lightning uh, to do something a little bit uh, more ballsy and uh, very aggressive. A uh, hillbilly deathlord said, "Mom, spaghetti is the only spaghetti allowed around here." Uh, that's a great reference. Uh, I'm a big fan of Eight Mile. Uh, went home for Christmas, watched out with the buddies, um, and and laughed laughed my butt off uh, with the mom spaghetti stuff. That's uh, call that a, a classic. So you guys are seeing one of our uh, two new maps. Uh, right now, these are available to all Xbox players, and they're coming out next week on the 30th for PS4 and PC players. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Go ahead and give those new maps a try. Um, they definitely change up the game. We've added some uh, new breakable boxes to uh, to them, and th they allow for both close quarters in like tight mine combat, um, while also you've got these big open areas like you see right in front of you. It looks like Dave. Surprisingly, pretty clutch here with this Val. Uh, the Tranks are very, very effective against Kraken. If you're able to, uh, I guess, predict what your monster you're going to face, uh, taking Val is, against Kraken is always a, a good bet. And just like that, Dave goes down. These mines are definitely uh, being very disruptive to the team. Smart crack and play. He has no health taken off, a little bit of armor left. And uh, now Dave's got one strike. So this is different than the uh, Lazarus play that we've been seeing for the past four games. Uh, I feel like this Hunter squad is a bit used to having a Lazarus to get them back up to full health. Uh, they even said, uh, you know, I don't know if they were just trash talking or not. But on the mic, they said that uh, in one of the games, they actually let one of their players go down on purpose so that he could die and they could bring him back to life with full health. Uh, I like to think that they probably didn't think of that, but uh, maybe they did. Uh, that's a smart move. If you guys aren't doing that out there, it's uh, something you might want to look into. Yeah, they said they baited me out with his body. Uh, and they knew I would come back to, uh, to try to finish him off. And they're right, because when you see someone down, you always want to capitalize on that team. Uh, but Lazarus Revive is very, very quick. And that gold skin is definitely making him a lot more visible to the team. Um, so like I said, that's the, it's a ballsy play taking that skin, but it's definitely for those who are uh, who want a bit of a challenge, right? I like to see Aftershock at level two. Um, with Kraken, you know, I'm, I'm usually one who likes to stay in the air, stay away from the battle, but taking Aftershock at level two, pushing on the team, um, is something that usually people don't always expect. Usually uh, are looking to face a Kraken that's gonna stay away from you, but now he's being very aggressive, and I don't know if this team is able to adjust and kind of switch up their plans to uh, deal with him. All right, so two strikes on Dave. And one other strike on his other teammate. And someone's in a croc. All right, this is rough. 